Hey everybody, this is Brett and this 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition is stock number 23J28. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Gladiator has the 3.6 liter V6 engine, puts out 285 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the options on this particular Jeep and uh, give you a really good overview of the Mojave package, hopefully. Uh, silver, silver Zenith is the color and I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities, turn them on because it's your best way to check out the looks, styling and options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And uh, we'll get started right away with the Mojave package. Gives you the orange tow hooks in the front. You get the simulated hood scoop. Um, now you can remove this plastic piece here, but it actually doesn't do anything um, on there. You get the Jeep logo right there in the headlights. You also get the really good looking Mojave stickers on the side, and you also get the Jeep lettering with the orange outline on there. It also gives you the painted alloy rims and you get the Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are LT28570R17s. And these tires are specific for um, off-road desert driving. So that's, they all come with these specific Falcon Wild Peak tires. You'll notice you get the Fox shocks in there, um, get the Jounce bumpers and the reservoirs for those shocks. So this thing is built to go off-road in the desert. That's its one main purpose. You also get a little bit of a lift from the factory on this particular model. Uh, the Mojave also has the color match fenders, which look really good. And you get the rock rails down there. A couple little Easter eggs on the Gladiator. You get the sandals on that shroud, the Jeep climbing up the side. You also get the T50 on there, letting you know which Torx wrench to take these doors off. We actually did a video on how to take your doors off your Gladiator, which is in the upper right hand part of the screen. So check that out. I'm gonna show you the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this at any time. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave 4x4. Uh, Silver Zenith clear coat is the color. 3.6 liter, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment for the Mojave package. Now you'll notice that you get the Fox 2.5 Performance internal bypass shocks, the Fox Performance Hydro Jounce bumpers, True Lock rear axle, cab rails, heavy duty Dana front and rear, 44 inch wide axles, 410 axle ratio, the 17 inch low gloss black aluminum wheels, and the 33 inch tires. Has command track part time four wheel drive system, the fuel tank skid plates, transfer skid plate, and front bumper skid plate. So, all stuff for off roading in the desert. You get the terrain specific off-road plus mode, seven and four pin wiring harness, electronic sway control, trailer sway control, the Torx toolkit, push button start, and the location specific tire pressure monitoring display. The interior features, those are, those are all your standard equipment there. And it does come with a full size spare tire. Silver Zenith clear coat, exterior paint is 495, leather trim bucket seats, with sport bolsters are 1995 full length uh, floor console with premium armrest, leather wrap park brake handle, and leather wrap ship, shift knob. Trailer tow package is 895 class four receiver hitch and trailer hitch zoom. So this one can tow up to 6,000 pounds. Uh, cold weather group is 1345, which gives you the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start has the soft top window storage bag, which is 75 bucks. And then the eight speed automatic transmission is 2000 bucks. And the body color fender flares are 995. So I, I apologize, I said those were part of the Mojave package. Those are an extra add on. Um, anyways, MSRP is 60,590 to get your summit price with your rebates and incentives in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to get all the pricing and availability on this particular Jeep. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. This one gets 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. Front crash rating is four and five stars and rollover is three. 
So we will uh, continue our outside walk around before we get to the interior. And I'm actually gonna put this soft top, I'm gonna open it up and show you how easy it is. It's actually not easy when you have one arm and only one person helping you, but I'll be able to do it. And I'll show you that in just a second. You get the orange tow hooks back here as well. Receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Once again, granite crystal Jeep lettering with the orange outlines. LED tail lamps has the shock down assist tailgate. LED bed lights, you get the bed rail covers on there. Get some side box tie downs in here as well. And uh, I really like this color. I really like the silver, the new silver. Here's a look at these shocks. They're pretty heavy duty. Actually, everything underneath here is pretty heavy duty for off-roading in the desert. You'll note that you get the 3M tape on the fender here to keep it from getting sandblasted. And then there are those rock rails. You get the heated power mirrors. You also get this desert rated badge that's only on the driver's side. That's all granite crystal and outline in orange. Enter and go system. Get the leather trimmed bolstered seats with the orange stitching. Mojave is stitched into the backrest. Looks really good. Uh, driver's seat HUD adjuster, factory floor mats, auto headlamps. I really like this dash. It's like a textured finish to it. You get the kind of chrome orange vent. Get the stitching on the doors, power mirrors, power locks. Back seats are trimmed out the same way. You get the latch child safety system. And uh, these headrests can fold down for better visibility. You can also put stuff behind there. And then that seat locks with the ignition key. So you can, uh, when you have the top down, you can put your valuables behind there, close it, lock it so nobody gets your stuff. These seats go up, there's storage back here, there's a spot for all your bolts for your doors. And if you had a hard top, or if you were taking the soft top completely off, there's a spot for all those bolts. And then back here you get a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. Then you also get two USBs, two USB-Cs right there. Window controls, more vents. There's your bag for the uh, pieces. Latch child safety, or the child safety locks and the lock doors. And uh, let's hop inside. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this soft top back. So that just goes up like so. There's just two quick disconnects. And if you've ever seen my video on how to take a hard top off your Gladiator, this is a lot easier. And it's a lot easier to uh, put up when you're not using it. So you can just press, just push on that, and it'll go up like so. And then what you have to do is you have to get this bar, you have to get it kind of moving. And then it goes back like that. And that's exactly how it sits uh, when you're driving. And because it's, there's so much metal and stuff, it doesn't really fly off and it's, it's really secured on there pretty well. And actually my in-laws have a Jeep Gladiator soft top and they love it because they can put the top up whenever they want. And uh, if it starts to rain, they can put it back real easy. And then to get it back, just put it like so. And then probably the easiest way to get it back down without pinching your fingers is to grab this like that and then just bring it down and then it just snaps into place and uh, yeah real easy one person able to do it while videoing there's proof check out the radio and information center here you get the Jeep animation at the beginning 7 inch LCD display you get a digital speedometer on there and uh, all your information, you can change your climate, compass, all that good stuff. 
You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel with the orange stitching, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth information center controls on the left, audio controls in the back. This one has the 8.4 4C radio. You have your factory navigation system on here, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on here. You also get your heated seats and heated steering wheel button, and you can check out that backup camera. They made the Gladiator backup cameras HD as well. And you can zoom in on that receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat, camper, or trailer the first time. Every time you have all your different apps on here. This one has projection manager where you can project your cell phone to a screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So if you've got a different nav system that you like better, project it to the screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto with an 8.4. Um, so check that out. That's in the upper right-hand part of the screen as well. We'll check out those back or those off-road pages. They're pretty cool. Down here you have your more tactile climate tune and volume controls maybe lost but never stuck in a gladiator so you get your steering angle on there you can see as i turn that steering wheel that actually changes you have your rear axle locker and if it's locked or unlocked transfer case you have your accessory gauges pitch and roll latitude longitude and altitude uh, you also have your start stop stability control speed select control down here you get a usb augs and usb c and then the eight-speed automatic transmission and the four by four shifter right there. You also have your axle locker. And um, if you wanna do that, you have off-road mode where you can go into four wheel drive low at a uh, higher speed. Keyless entry with remote start. Get your flipper key like so. Nice chunky key fob. And then once again, that dash, turn that light on. It's got a metallic finish to it and it's, it's textured. It's almost like sand. I think they did that on purpose. Anyways, auto dimming mirror, assist SOS buttons, and your map and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems are right there. And uh, yeah, you know the soft top is a little bit louder than the hard top, of course. But like I said, my in-laws have one of these with a soft top, and they absolutely love it. So. You know, definitely an option to consider. And if you want the Mojave package, can't think of a better color on it. It really looks good. And uh, I was going to just check out underneath the hood real quick. Show you the mission sticker and what it looks like under here. I suppose I can show you the tire and loading information sticker, so... payload and all that stuff. There's your mission sticker. There's your tire and loading information sticker. And then the VIN sticker. All right, well, that's pretty much all I have for the uh, Jeep Gladiator Mojave, especially this one. Hope the video was informational and you enjoyed it. Got to learn a little bit about this particular Jeep. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to that website right there at summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in silver Zenith metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.